Yo, tapping in real quick. Something light, nothing major. A little uh, Sunday tap-in type situation. You know what I'm talking about? We just gonna sit here and chop it up for a few minutes for what it's worth while I um roll one up, fire one up, and burn one down, man. You know what I'm talking about? And uh, it is what it is, man. Something light, nothing major. We can start off by talking about what the year has looked like so far for 2024 as far as the UFC's concern for uh, Fresh Start Mixed Martial Arts predictions. You know what I'm talking about? And uh, so far, since January of 2024, the UFC has held, if I'm not mistaken, it's 40 events. 40 events. This past weekend was the 40th one for a total of uh, 491 fights. And I'm currently sitting with 327 wins, 160 losses, and four draws. You know what I'm talking about? So it is what it is. Last week wasn't my best week. The prior week was fairly decent. The week for before that wasn't my best week. So uh, I'm currently 327 wins, 160 losses, and four draws out of the 491 fights that have taken place, you know, across the 40 events that have been held since January of 2024. And as of right now, unfortunately, that has dropped me down to only picking correctly at a 66% clip. You know what I mean? So, for what it's worth, man, I figured, uh, you know, everybody who uh, taps in should be privy to that statistic, man. You know what I mean? Y'all tapping in. Y'all rocking with me. It's a roller coaster. You know what I mean? Sometimes we up, up, up. Other times we go down, down, down. Other times we just kind of, you know. But it is what it is, man. 40 events, 491 fights, 327 wins, 160 losses, 4 draws. You know what I mean? I wish we was back up and we'll get back up, you know, into the 70, 80% clip as far as picking correctly. But uh, it is what it is, man. You know what I mean? We sitting at 66% right now. And uh, that's how it has all gone down since January of 2024, man. The year's not over yet. You know what I mean? But uh, that's what that looked like, man. You know what I mean? For anybody who uh, is interested, to whom it may concern, you know what I'm talking about, for whoever may have appreciated that little tidbit of information, you know what I mean? But that's that with that, man. Not a whole lot to uh, really talk about, you know what I mean? I slid over to the uh, casino earlier when I was putting in some NFL plays, and um, I dropped some more early birds in for 310. But everything I put in today, I put in uh, about a half a dozen parlays for UFC. But everything I put in today was all favorites. You know what I mean? A little five pack, a little six piece, a little seven piece, eight piece. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I think I did a couple six pieces. One five pack, two six pieces, a seven piece, and an eight piece type situation. As far as favorites are concerned, and uh, grabbing these favorites while the money lines are still, I ain't even gonna say respectable, but still bettable and parlayable. You know what I mean? Because uh, some of these numbers is crazy, man. You know what I mean? I don't got the slip on me right now. I got parlays on me, but I don't have none of those <laughs> crazy numbers is in none of my joint. Like the craziest number I got right now is Shavkat at 350 and uh, Reyes at 330. You know what I'm talking about? Gom was at 260. Evil Off was at 250. Battle was at 240. Thimble was 210. Van was 165. And Griffin was 155. You know what I'm talking about? The slip outside, but I believe they had Chase Hooper at minus 800. <laughs> Bryce Mitchell at minus 525. So I just wanted absolutely no parts of those favorites. They're over the minus 500 money line, not even on, on an early bird uh, ticket. 525 for Bryce Mitchell, minus 800 for uh, Chase Hooper. And then Kennedy, I didn't see the money line, you know, for Kennedy drop yet. 
and I'm sure he's going to be right up there with him around minus 500 over Lucas. You know what I'm talking about? I'm sure he's going to be a significant favorite. So your three big favorites on the card, you know, they're going to be Bryce Mitchell, uh, Chase Hooper, and Kennedy and Chuck Will. Now, you might feel a bit better than that about that than Kong, Zhang, and uh, Fang, two of which fumbled the bag this past week. But still, Chase Hooper at minus 800, Bryce Mitchell at minus 525, and Kennedy and Chuck Will probably going to be up around minus 6, 7, 800 too. Wouldn't be surprised. These money lines are crazy. So I jumped on some early birds. You know what I'm talking about? Because you know I like who I like and some of them are dogs. And I'm going to put those plays in, but those plus money numbers are just getting better as of right now. So it's no rush to put those plays in. These early bird plays, a majority of them, is just on the favorites. Just so I can put my all favorites parlays in for the prelims, my all favorites for the main core. You know what I'm talking about? Drop a little heavier on that. Drop a little heavier on that. My all favorites, you know, parlays for the whole core. Drop a little heavier on them. You know what I'm talking about? Because then when I go do individuals that I like that are dogs, I don't have to drop this heavy on those prelim parlays and those main core parlays and those whole core parlays because those dog numbers, you know what I mean? Some of them are significantly so. You know what I'm talking about? So uh, those just have to be like little sprinkles this week, man. And uh, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. As far as these uh, money lines are concerned, though, if you like those individuals that I went and parlayed up, Shavkat, Surreal, you know what I'm talking about? Um, Dominic. Masvar. Joshua. Brian. Themba. You know what I'm talking about? If you like those individuals, you better catch some money lines now. Because um, Shab caught at minus 350. That boy's going to be about a minus 500 midweek this week probably. If not, definitely next week. He's going to be creeping up to like 500. And Dominic's 330. He's going to be creeping up right with him. You know what I'm talking about? The 250 or the 240 for uh, Brian Battle is going to be looking like 350. That's next to uh, Shavkat. You know what I mean? The Surreal Guns, 240 or 260 is going to be looking like 330 or 350, like Reyes and, and Shavkat. Like these lines are going to jump and they're going to creep. And I get it. People want to wait, you know what I'm talking about, and see who, you know, who's on whose side and which predictors riding with. You know, which individuals and this, that, and the third and all that's good. You know what I'm talking about? But when you go start to put, trying to put all them favorites together, then they going to, you won't have to start like this past week, man. You wrap five, six people together, man, and you still only getting like plus two something. Right now, you wrap five, six of them together, you, you can get a nice number. You know what I mean? These uh, closely lined fights like... Um, where it's at, Joshua versus Cody, you know what I'm talking about, and uh, Max versus Michael, being on the right side of those two fights as of right now, at 158, 155 type shit or whatever they are, those are what's going to boost your ticket, because these other ones are already significant as far as favorites are concerned, 350, 330, 260, 240, we how many fucking days away from fight night, man, and how many days away from individuals tapping into other, you know, other outlets and every outlet and finding out who likes who and going and parlaying, mu parlaying motherfuckers up like this shit is going to get ridiculous come time uh, fight night, man. UFC 310. By the time that shit kick off and those motherfucking uh, windows close, some of these money lines are going to be beyond out of control. You know what I mean? So while I might not be on the side of some of these individuals as far as picks are concerned, I very much so when you know, knock my all favorites parlays out the way for the most part. I have a few more variations of the all favorites parlays that uh, I'm going to put in, you know, later on today or tomorrow. You know what I mean? And uh, that'll be that with that. And it's just about, um, you know, locking in on uh, some of these dogs that I think might bark and putting some variations of parlays that I myself like in. You know what I mean? And, uh... You know, getting this parlay video smacking for y'all. So y'all can go do what y'all going to do, man. But uh, the longer you wait, you see how these money lines been, these money lines been getting, man. The longer you wait, 
the more significant these favorites are going to be getting. And when you already got motherfuckers sitting at minus 800, minus 525, I don't know what Kennedy's going to be. Minus 350, minus 330. You know what I mean? You already know those individuals are going to be, the ones at 525 are going to be creeping up to the minus 800. The ones at 800 are going to be creeping up at minus 1100, minus 1050. The 350s are going to be creeping up to that 525. The 260s are going to be creeping up to that 350. The 330s are going to be creeping up to that 525. Like these motherfucking lines are going to get crazy. You know what I'm talking about? So it is what it is, man. Properly prepare yourself, man, to, uh, be, uh, <laughs> wrapping everybody you like up together at plus, like, 189 if you wait, you know, too long. If you let too much time pass, you'll be wrapping five or six, you know, because if you wrapped up Kong, if you took Kong and Zhang and Oberg, off the prelim, off the main card, with Oldberg being the least of the most significance. You know what I mean? Kong was crazy favorite. You understand what I'm saying to you up around the minus? Well, let's call her a minus one thousand. You know what I'm talking about? Zhang was like around a minus four hundred. I think it's like four twenty or something like that. So we'll just call it a minus four hundred with a minus one thousand, and then Oldberg was like a minus two sixty five. You feel what I'm saying to you? But those three together still got you like minus one something. And then if you went down on the prelims, the closely lined individuals, you know what I mean? Would have boosted you, but a lot of people had Fang, uh, Kavanaugh, you know what I'm talking about? And, um, you know, Long or, you know, one of the other closely lined individuals, you know what I'm saying? It just, you couldn't do a whole lot with it because Fang was like a minus 400, you know what I mean? Kavanaugh was a minus four and some change mixed with the minus 1,000 minus fucking 400 and the minus 260 You got another minus 500 and a minus four, you know, what I mean like come on man And then maybe you had a closely lined thing So you have six individuals that brought you plus 189 or plus 210 for six people That's too much stress too many fights to have to worry about for just plus one something or plus two something you dig me Go out and lock these favorites up now. If you're on the side of these motherfuckers to be the ones that get the job done, go lock them up now, man. You know what I mean? And you don't have to go crazy. Put something light on them, man. You know what I'm talking about? But go lock them up now because you're going to have to go crazy the longer you wait. You know what I mean? You're going to have to drop a, a grip on it. You're going to have to start talking about $100 or better. You know what I mean? When you can go out there right now and find a little six-legger, a little five-legger and put 50 on it. You know what I mean? It hit for a few hundred. Little six legger, put sixty on it and hit for a few hundred. You know what I mean? Like you can, you can, you can put a sixty uh, six legger together, put thirty on it and still hit for a couple hundred. Like you can still make decent bank off a minimal pocket. You know what I mean? Right now, off a tap and hitting your wallet, very minimal. But the longer you wait, the harder you gonna have to hit that pocket. The more you gonna stress yourself out. The worse the headaches gonna be. If somebody fumbles the fucking bag, like a motherfucking fang, you know what I'm talking about, or a wang kong, or somebody like that, you know what I mean? The more more stressed out you're going to be because you drop more bread on it, you know what I mean? You don't have to do that right now, man. Better catch these motherfucking lines before everybody else catches these lines, you know what I'm talking about? Like, people are going to have their Thanksgiving dinner, you know what I mean? They're going to fuck their food up. Bellies is going to be full. Companies going, you know, go they separate ways. Motherfuckers is going to put their feet up, you know what I mean? And tap into their motherfucking computers and tap into their little shit and start Googling, you know, UFC. And, oh, man, that's right. Ain't nothing happening this shit next weekend. But let's see what's going on. See if motherfuckers got their picks. And motherfuckers is going to start parlaying, 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 parlaying. And these numbers are going to go through the fucking roof. You know what I'm talking about? And it's just going to be harder to make money, man. So, uh, you know, the full parlay video, prelims, main card, whole card, you know what I'm talking about? All favorites, swap out options, haymakers, Hail Marys. I got a couple 14 leggers on the app. You know what I'm talking about? We can talk about that. When the props drop, we can talk about that. But uh, I'm going to get the uh, parlay. Just the smooth parlays, because I know them props ain't fitting to drop. But I'm going to get the smooth parlays video out the way tomorrow. 
I'm going to get that thing all locked and loaded for y'all this evening. And uh, if I don't find my way to just dropping that thing this evening, then uh, I'll get that thing to y'all tomorrow, man. You know what I'm talking about? And heads can go ahead and uh, get to doing whatever it is they feel as though they need to do. Or not. Like I said, to each they own. That's on you. But I'm not trying to have to parlay up the whole card. You know what I mean? Or when I'm trying to find, you know, my main little bet, my main play, my main parlay, where I'm going to have my, my heaviest action at. You know what I mean? I'm okay if that's just at a plus two something or a plus three something, man. But I'm not okay with that plus two something or three something having to do with six or seven fights, man. You know what I'm talking about? That's why I got to get these all favorites parlays out the way early. And I'm going to get the video out the way early so y'all can get them out the way early if you so choose to do so you know what i'm talking about it is what it is man my picks are what they are i stand on them you know what i'm talking about and uh as far as you know the right to wrong ratio i'm highly confident in the majority of them and um i'm properly prepared parlay wise being on the wrong side of the other ones you know what i mean so kennedy versus lucas i don't really see a night where kennedy loses that fight especially coming off of losing that split decision when he was a minus 800 and uh over in st Pru was a, minus, a plus 500 and he lost that one via split decision that did something to him that ignited something inside of him and uh you know, I could actually see him finding the finish in this one inside the distance. So I don't see Kennedy losing this matchup, man. But right now, it's the first fight of the night. The price tag's going to probably be crazy. I already don't really want anything to do with it. And the price tag's just going to solidify that for me when I see it. I know it will. Weidman versus Eric, you know, you can apply the swap out option if you feel necessary. I'm not going to have a lot of action on this fight except for, you know, on some prelim parlays, like a haymaker sweep for the whole prelims type shit. Maybe one other prelim parlay might have this uh, fight in it as far as the legs concerned. And um, I'm rocking with Chris. I'm not really going to uh, duplicate a ticket to go the other way and put Eric on there because I'm not just, I'm not going to invest heavy. It's going to be for a haymaker or a Hail Mary, you know what I mean? And if I swap out somebody it's probably not gonna be that fight you feel me but i like chris for what it's worth man vicente versus thimba maybe thimba comes out here and just proves that he's ready to take this next step up in level of opposition which will be his biggest step up as far as levels of opposition are concerned and gets the job done i'm rocking with vicente but i'm probably prepared for being on the wrong side of that pick now brian Versus Randy, I think Battle's going to beat Randy up, man. With all due respect to Randy, I don't think he can handle Battle right now. I think Battle's going to put that work on him. He's going to put that work on him. I'm confident in him. Just like I'm confident in Joshua versus Cody, I think he's going to beat Cody the fuck up, man. You know what I'm talking about? And he's going to piece him up. He's going to hurt him. And if he doesn't find a finish inside the distance, he's going to hurt him multiple times over the course of 15 minutes on the feet, man. I'm rocking with Al Joe, but I'm properly prepared for being on the wrong side of that motherfucking pick as far as parlays are concerned. As I've already, uh, you know, showed y'all in little short clips with parlays that I uploaded and uh, stated previously. You know what I mean? So I'm rocking with the homie, not going against the grain, but, you know, I'm prepared. And uh, I'm prepared for Mazvar and Al Joe to look like Piotr versus Figueredo. You know what I mean? With uh, Aljo playing, playing Figueredo's part and Mazvar playing Piotr's part. The age difference is just about the same. It is what it is. I'm rocking with the homie, but I'm properly prepared, man. I like Max against Michael, man. You know what I mean? For what it's worth, I guess, you know, you can apply the swap out option to... Uh, Max versus Michael, if you feel absolutely necessary. Mike could squeeze out a split decision. I don't think he's finding a finish, not via submission. I don't think he's going to put Max in a compromisable enough position. And uh, I think Max keeps his fight upright and just lands the better work, you know, lands the better, more significant shots 
and uh, I think it's going to show the reactions and the damage will show on Michael, you know, and Max. I think it's just a good, it's a good fight for him, man. Chase versus Clay, I don't want nothing to do with it. That boy's a minus eight hundred. He's a minus eight hundred. Clay's a plus five, plus five hundred. And all I can think about is Kennedy being a minus eight hundred and Ovin St. Prue being a plus five hundred. It was about the same situation. You know what I mean? I don't want no, no part as far as you know, a newer individual against a vet. I don't want no part of that, man. Chase should get it done, but fuck that fight. I'm solid on Dominic, man. I wouldn't be surprised if Lionheart pulled something out and uh, slept him because uh, who could be surprised at this point? I already said just because Dom won a fight, that doesn't get me. Uh, I'm not going to buy into that hype. That doesn't get me back on the Dom side of things, thinking he's just he's back all of a sudden because he got a dub over Dustin Jacoby. Like Chuck Liddell got slump, 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 one. Lost, slump, slump. You know what I mean? Like, one thing has nothing to do with the other, but it's all worth consideration. I don't like seeing folk go out like that, man. And just because he got one win don't mean he back. So I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Lionheart did some bullshit. But uh, I'm pretty solid on that pick, man. Bryce versus Crown. I don't want nothing to do with Bryce versus Crown, and especially not at minus 525 and going up. You know what I mean? For Bryce. Fuck that. Nate versus Choi, I'm rocking with Choi, man. I'll be properly prepared for being on the wrong side of this pick for my main card parlays. And uh, a couple whole card parlays that I will have Choi wrapped up in as my one dog, I'll be properly prepared as far as uh, being on the wrong side of that pick by wrapping up all favorites. You understand what I'm saying to you? And just putting Nate in there. But uh, it's kill or be killed in this fight, man. And... um. I like Nate. He's a dog. Choi's a dog, too. They both can get it done. They both can get done in. And uh, I just think right now, Choi's a bit more dangerous. But I could be absolutely wrong. And he could get folded up or submitted. So, to be determined, man. Surreal versus Volkov. Obviously, as I showed y'all and stated previously, I'm properly prepared for being on the wrong side of this pick. You know what I mean? And I'm redundant with that shit so that y'all will be too if y'all tapped in. And, um, you know, it is what it is, man. It's not a five-round fight. It's not 25 minutes. It's 15 minutes. Volkov's a lot more active. You know what I mean? A lot more experience. But, uh, Surreal's no joke, man. And I get it. He's only been, uh, you know, beaten by former or uh, current champions. You know what I'm talking about? So we'll see. To be determined. I'm properly prepared for being on the wrong side of that pick, but I'm rocking with the uh I'm rocking with uh Volkov, man. Shavkat versus Ian. Y'all already know I'm all over Shavkat. Been all all over all over Shavkat, man. Somebody oh got to go. And I wouldn't be surprised if uh Shavkat kept that hundred percent finishing rate intact due to Ian's own confidence being his worst enemy. He'll put himself in a compromisable position thinking he's safe and he can get out of it and do whatever he needs to do. He just might get snatched up. And uh, that main event, you already know, it's the main event. I don't want a whole lot of action, if any action on that. And if I do, the swap out option will be applied to secure that back door because it's just too many question marks. It's too many unknowns and some old off-the-wall nutball shit could happen in that motherfucker and I'd hate for that to be the last leg a motherfucker was waiting on. You know what I'm talking about? So it is what it is, man. Something like nothing major. You know what I'm talking about? I stab with that for the most part. A piece of fucking blood on my son. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we'll cap it all where we started off. Fresh start mixed martial arts, man. Predictions as far as UFC is concerned for the year of 2024 so far since January they've held 40 events for a total of 491 fights I'm currently sitting with 327 wins 160 losses and four draws which unfortunately has me right now 
only picking at a 66% clip, but the year's not over, you know what I'm talking about? And, uh, you know, we're going to see how we end it out. Out of those 40 events, 30 of them, whether it's been one ticket or multiple tickets, in some way, shape, form, or fashion, I've been able to cash a ticket on 30 out of those 40, simply based off the fact that I put in the prelim parlays and then I put them in the degenerate vault. Then I put in the main car parlays and I put them in the degenerate, degenerate vault. Then I put in my whole car parlays. They go in the degenerate vault. My all favorite parlays already going in the degenerate vault. Swap out options, they're gonna go in the degenerate vault. Haymakers, Hail Marys, and dog plays all going in the degenerate vault. You understand what I'm saying to you, man? And, uh, some way, shape, form, or fashion, whether it's the prelims, whether it's the main card, whether it's the whole card, a dog play, all favorites, one of the swap out options, I've been able to cash a ticket, you know, or tickets to either get my bread back and something light, you know, my bread back, something light, nothing major, my bread back, something nice, my bread back, something fucking significant, you know what I'm talking about? So, a win's a win, a profit's a profit. You know, we'll take it. You know what I'm saying? But um, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Year ain't over yet. We gonna see how uh, we do on this next chord as far as, uh, you know, these parlays are concerned. Last chord was a bust for me. You know what I'm talking about? It was a bust for me. Prelims, main chord, Whole card, dog plays, swap out options, all favorites. You know what I'm talking about? And sometimes it's just like that, man. It's how the ball bounces and the cookie crumbles. You just miss. You know what I mean? You just swing and you fucking miss. But you got to swing. You got to swing to miss. You got to swing to crack that motherfucker out of the park. You know what I'm talking about? So uh, it is what it is, man. And uh, it wasn't no, it was light. No heavy investment last week as it was just, you know, a lot of sprinkles on long leg parlays with a lot of these China men and China women wrapped up in them, just gambling on the unknowns. You know what I'm talking about? I should have just locked long you and Choi up like I said to do in the parlay shit, but I didn't do it. And I even said that in one of the parlay clips like, man, it's sometimes I think the week before, like I don't put parlays down, man, and went over there and just, myself, I had so much going on, putting so much shit in, and forgot to put the motherfucker in, and that motherfucker smacked significantly so, you know what I mean, and if I put in the long, you and Choi, because long was a minus 120, you and Choi were around minus 158, minus 136, that was a decent little three-legger, and I never got to the motherfucking, got, got around to putting it in, you know what I mean, but, uh, it is what it is, man. You know what I mean? Song on the main card, he cost me. Salikov, he let Salikov get off. He let <laughs> one of those two or three tricks he got up his sleeve. They look good when he can get them off. And boy, did he let him get it off. You can see that motherfucker coming the whole way, though. But it's still, it's still, <laughs> still landed and placed perfectly and put him down. So Song shot me out on some shit. Uh, T-U-M-E-N-D-E-M-B-E-R-E-L Whatever old boy's name on the prelims Shout me out on some shit Like that was my solid dog on the main And my solid dog on the prelims For what it was worth for the card So you know what I mean A lot of my shit went south with those two individuals That was uh, wrapped in for the prelims The main and if I had them wrapped in for a whole You know what I'm talking about Then dog plays didn't really work out You know what I mean So it was what it was man It is what it is how the ball bounces and the cookie crumbles, man. Ain't no looking back. That's why I don't do a whole lot of tapping in to talk about the past. You know what I mean? Just on to the next one, man. I ain't going to win them all. You ain't going to win them all. Nobody's going to win them all. We ain't going to win them all, man. You know what I'm talking about? It is what it is. Um, Yeah, prelims, main guard, whole guard, all favorites, swap outs, Hail Marys, haymakers, dog options, all that good shit. It's going to be incoming. I'm cooking that shit up for y'all now. You know what I'm talking about? Tap in here and see if all these money lines have dropped and, uh, you know, 
gotta be that with that man so i appreciate y'all for tapping in enjoy the rest of y'all sunday hopefully y'all having luck with them kickoffs man and uh peace and blessings